In this video, I'm going to show you how you can track tab clicks on your website with the help of Google Tag Manager. Hi there, and welcome to another video of gtmtraining.com with me, Julian. And today we want to talk about how you can track tab clicks on your website with the help of Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. But before we get started, as always, these little videos are brought to you by gtmtraining.com. And if you want to learn how to track other important interactions on your web page, then check out our little course on event tracking, where you learn how you can track different interactions like slider clicks, link clicks, form tracking, and so on and so on with the help of Google Tag Manager. So check that out at gtmtraining.com slash event tracking. And you'll also get a little bit of a discount for this course. So today we want to talk about tab clicks and we are talking about tabs like these down here below. If you go to reviews or descriptions, the site doesn't really reload and therefore no interactions get tracked in Google Analytics by default. So how can we track this with the help of Google Tag Manager? Now for this all to work, you need to have Google Tag Manager installed and we already have Google Tag Manager and also Google Analytics, the normal page view tracking installed. If you don't know how to install it, please check out our free email course at gtmtraining.com slash email course and we'll get you all set up. Now the first step in order to track those clicks, we need to go over to Google Tag Manager and build a generic click trigger. So we'll go over to click triggers here and click on new. And this will be our click trigger because we want to track clicks on these tabs. As the event, we'll choose the click event and then we can configure the trigger. There is an all elements and a just links option. We'll go with the all elements option because this is a little bit more generic and it always depends how you have marked up your page in the HTML. In our case, these are links as well, but they don't trigger a page reload. So we'll go with the element that actually was clicked on. So I choose all elements here, click on continue, and then we come to the firing options. We'll get to this later. For now, we'll keep this on all clicks. You create this trigger and go into the preview and debug mode, which we can do with this little arrow here beside the publish button and go into preview and the debug mode, which will put our browser in a special state. And when we reload the page where we have Google Tag Manager installed, we get this little console that pops up down here. And it will register all the different clicks that happen on our website. You see that here in the event menu, we have different GTM clicks triggering. What we can do now is click on one of these tabs and that was number nine here and go also back to the description that was number 10 here. Now we can inspect these different clicks by clicking on the element itself and going into the variables. And here we have different click variables. If you don't see them, you need to go into your variable menu enable them and then reload your page. Then you get these click elements and we can inspect which ones of those get filled correctly with what values. Now we also have different clicks that I triggered at the beginning when we loaded the page and we can inspect those as well in order to see how do they differentiate each other from the ninth and the 10th click in order to build a filter to only fire our tag when somebody clicks on a tab. So sometimes the elements have a click ID, which is not the case here, or they have a certain class that you could build your filter off. But in our case, our variables only get filled with the click URL, which is pretty unique because we have this hashtag tab 
at the back here and it says reviews or in our case description and we can use this to filter down and only fire our tags upon the 10th and the 9th click. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go over to Google Tag Manager and turn our generic click trigger into a specific one which will only fire on tab clicks. I change the name here and what we need to change is only the fire on option which is our filter and we only want to fire this on some clicks. Now we can choose the variables that we just saw in the preview and debug mode and we want to go with the click URL and we only want to turn this whole trigger true when there is a hashtag tab in there. It should be the case with all the different elements in the URL that we have in the tabs. So let's go ahead and save this trigger. And in order to try it out, we actually need to connect it to a tag first. So we'll build our event tag with the help of Google Tag Manager. So let's go over to Tags and click on New. And this will be a Google Analytics tag and it will be an event tag, which will fire on tab clicks. As a product, we'll choose Google Analytics and go with Universal Analytics because that's the version that our account runs on. And then as a tracking ID, you would put in your UA ID. We already have it saved in the Google Analytics ID, which you also have a video prepared on that under gtmtraining.com slash Google Analytics ID. If you want to recreate that. As a track type, we now need to choose event. And then we can fill out our category, action and label. In our case, I will call this tabs. Now I want to know which page this happened on so I can actually choose a variable to fill this dynamically, which is the page path variable or the page URL variable. I'll go with page path here. And I may want to know what was clicked on. So was it review or description? I can dynamically again fill it with the click text variable as a label. So let's do that. Click text and we are all set. If you don't want this to affect your bounce rate, you can choose as a non-interaction hit the true variable and then click on continue and connect this tag to our trigger, which we can do under more. We have all our triggers and we have the tab click trigger, which we just built. Let's create this tag and refresh our preview and debug mode. And then go over to our demo shop and reload our demo page. And now I'm going to click on reviews. And we see we had an event fire, the GTM click event. Once we click on that, we see that tags fired on this event was the GA event tab click. And if you click inside of that, we can see how it was configured. You can actually look into the values and we see that as the event category, we had tabs. As the event action, we have the page that we were on. And as the event label, we have reviews. We also can check that in our tag assistant. We have here events and see the data here as well. And the ultimate test would obviously be to go into our Google Analytics, into the right account, and then under real-time tracking, we have the event tab, and we just saw that uh, just now there was an event firing. Let's try this again. Let's click on description, go back, and we have another event coming in here. Since I had the non-interaction hit set to true. We can only see it under the events last 30 minutes where we can see the category, the event action. And when we click on it, we can also see the label. So this got dynamically filled one time with description, one time with review number four, which is the click text of these different tabs. We can also try this out on a different product. Let's go here to a different product and click on a tab. Should get two more 
events and these are now changed dynamically to event action number three, Wu Ninja number three, and also the event label is transferred, description and reviews. So you can see the events coming in correctly and later you would be able to see them under your behavior report under events. This is not yet filled because it takes up to 48 hours to fill this with data. It takes about 30 minutes for me most of the times. All right, now that we have checked this all and did a little bit of QA, we are sure that it works. Now the last step would be to publish this to all our users so we can see what the users clicked on when they click on tabs. And that's already it with this week's video of gtmtraining.com. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about the different interactions that you can track on your website, check out our little course at gtmtraining.com slash event tracking. As always, if you want to stay up to date, please click the subscribe button. Then I'll see you next time. I'm Julian. Till next time.